Hi there. I wanted to um, order one of your products. It's the cardboard deluxe cremation tray with plywood bottom. I'm looking on your webpage right now. Yeah. Three to five days. That's perfect. Okay, so uh, I'm going to place the order now on your webpage. Okay. Thank you so much. You bet. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you. Pa, flamenco? Mande. ¿Qué, ¿Qué quieres oír? Y flamenco, para echar unos pasos gitanos ahí. Ya. ¿Lo oyes? ¿Está bien? Un más fuerte. My name is Carlos Nunez. I live in Spain, but my mother and my father live in Silver Spring, Maryland, in a senior residence. Yeah, did you comiste tus tacos y cervezas? Pues nada más, ni tacos ni cerveza. Vamos, levanta las patas. I've been staying with them, and my sister comes when she can. And my father has had a lot of health issues. When we knew that he had end-stage kidney disease and, and that he was going to, to die, he was a little concerned, to say the least. I just said to him, and I, it, was, it was kind of a promise, I said that I would accompany him the whole way, and I said, Todo te va a ir muy bonito. Todo te va a ir muy bonito. It can be a beautiful thing. It's not a heavy, dark, you know, taboo thing that we don't deal with. You know, on the contrary, this is, you know, it's just this is part of life. This is part of living. I want to be directly handling my father's body. And I want to prepare him and clean him and, and, and give him the best, the best send off that, that I can think of. And this is what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. No más. No, no más. Está muy fría. Ay, no. So here we are. Okay. We're understanding life in this process. I think that's what we're, we're understanding what life is. Me voy a salir un ratito. Ya lo vengo. Bye. My dad's still still hanging on, and uh, although he's he's showing signs, you know, and there's no telling what we're looking at time-wise now. Right. And so, my initial intention was that uh, I was very very focused on my father being able to receive what in the Roman Catholic Church we call the last rites, last the last anointing. But in the church that I belong to, is the Christian community, we do a three-day vigil. Uh, and the body is not disturbed uh, uh, in as much as, as possible. And so I realized that it was best to be at home. So the question is, how much of all of this do you want to do? What I want to do is this. I'm going to deal with the hospice agency, uh, you know, at the time of death. I'm going to call them. They're going to send a nurse mm -hmm. and record the time of death. Then we're going to do the vigil at home. Right. We're going to be, you know, for that, I purchased the cremation container mm -hmm. and I ordered the ice packs mm -hmm. to make sure that uh, we, we keep the refrigeration very, very strict. Uh, we can accompany yes. the body until the moment. Of we the would day. have to receive the body before two o'clock. In the afternoon. Yes, for the cremation to take place that same day. Okay, great. Right. Well, thank you so much for that. Okay. I really appreciate your, your help with all this. No. Which one do you want? No? <laughs> I do not recommend it. <laughs> you don't recommend it, okay? Thank you. What? What the heck are you doing up here? <coughs> He's Carlos. Yes. And I am Carlos. Yes. And he was Carlos the fifth? No, you're the second. 
I'm the third. Your father was Carlos. My father? Yeah. Oh, I have a picture of his father. Okay, so I'm Carlos. He's Carlos. And look at this. Remember this? Oh! <laughs> Hi, puppy. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, my father! Oh, ¿qué pasa, pa? Oh, I haven't seen it before. ¿Se la habías visto? No, mi hijo, no. ¿Te la, ¿La quieres ver? Sí. Oh, my father. He looks like a marshal. <laughs> he was a general. ¿Te acuerdas que era general? Yes, at the end. Oh, my father. Ay, Dios mío, bendito. Está bien, papel, está bien. Me todas las For drinking much, <laughs> for smoking much, the rest are copies. <laughs> Good morning, sir. How are ya? Do you know who's here? You went by the nurse who come and see you all the time here? Yes. How you doing today? I don't know if I am going or... or coming. Uh, or back or what is happening. Do you have any pain? Only in my soul. In your soul? Is it that profound? I can see the pain in the soul. <laughs> Isn't that profound? It's very profound. Yeah, You're getting I much funnier by the minute here. It's very profound if you have a pain in your soul, yes. But that means you have some spiritual need and uh, only the, you know, the chaplain can help you with that. Charlie Chaplin. Do you still eating good? Yes, sir. Do you want to drink some water? No. What, I, what do you want to drink? I want a big drink of tequila. You want tequila, huh? <laughs> yes. What tequila do to you? It makes me feel world. like I am the king of the world. A person who dies has to go through a, a process and it takes time. And you need to create the right environment or at least provide the correct uh -huh. environment and time and care and attention. I feel uh, that it's something that I want to give to my father as a gift. I want to give him this gift. He's my father. <laughs> <You know? laughs> He did a lot for me. It's part of what you do, you know. Well, I don't know, what, what, what do we do? We have Thanksgiving, we get together for Christmas, we have family reunions. We, we go visit the new, you know, the new baby that was born. So this is, no, this is just another part of, you know, being a family. Someone dies and you take care of that too. And we always have. <laughs> it doesn't seem like such a big deal. People have lost a specific kind of relationship to death and what it means, you know, and it's something you don't want to deal with, and it's something icky, and it's something, you know, that better leave it to other people, you know, who, who do it for, for a living or a business or, or whatever that is. Okay, fine, and I'm sure that, that has its place, but, you know, we, you know, other people want to do something different, and there's no reason why there should be any obstacles. There's no reason why it should bother anyone. Come in, come in, come in. Jane is a, a friend that I met through the Christian community. She helps and she has helped many people to hold their own home funerals. But you're acting as the funeral d d director. I said, yes, it would be interesting to like put this together in a simple document. It would probably be one page of what you have to do if you're gonna do this. You're right. Every time someone chooses to be responsible the responsible agent because they want their they want a home death. It's like reinventing the wheel every time. Yeah. We are totally committed to helping people approach the threshold of death as well as beyond and to actually promote keeping the dead 
the one who has died, at home for three days. This is being called a home funeral, which is attending to and honoring the one who has died and coming to grips and peace even about their death. Comemos. You know, as time has gone on working in this intimate approach with home death, I just am an utter advocate of people having the opportunity to, to be with the loved one after death. It becomes real. It, become, it, it becomes anything but scary or gruesome or morbid. Come on in. It's very nice to meet you. My name is Catherine. I'm the social worker with hospice. You have a good team. My daughter is coming in right now. She's out, she's out there. She was having a little snack. It sounds like you have a great team of folks caring for you. Oh, yes. They're nice people. Except, except when they are mad at me. <laughs> what happens then? I hide behind the bed. <laughs> <laughs> you have a great sense of humor. That's the only thing left. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's the best part. I don't know what I'm ready for. Mm -hmm. I am afraid. <laughs> We're here. Mm -hmm. You're ready, and there's no hurry. You're okay. I hope when I die, God is with me. Mm -hmm. God is always with you. Always. God is with you right now. You don't have to wait until then. God is with you right now, in this moment. I am afraid. What are you afraid of? I have been a bad man, a bad person. You know, God doesn't love us because we're perfect. God loves us because he created us. And he loves us unconditionally. So all those judgments that we have about ourselves and other people, God doesn't look at us like that. This is what I know of you before I ever met you. I knew what type of dad you have been to your children because of the love and the care that they were giving to you. And I knew that before I even laid eyes on you. So no matter what you've done, the good fruit no, that you have sown is are in them. Being kind to me, mm -hmm. to me because they wonder who is going to get the the billions? The piggy the, bank. Oh! The billi billions and billions? Everybody wants to get it. But it's mostly quarters, right? Quarters. Well, it's okay. It's worth, it. it's worth waiting for it. Huh? <laughs> I'm laughing because you are staying and I am leaving. No, that makes us sad. Yeah. But you stay here. You stay in our hearts forever. You'll always be with us. Yeah. Just like we'll always be with you. Letting go, uh, I mean, that's part of his constitution. Yes. I think it's been 16 days, 17 days since he'd had like any soup or anything. Me oyes, papi? Me oyes? ¿Me puedes oír? Okay. ¿Quieres más agua? ¿Quieres una pastillita? Te, tra te traigo una pastillita. Bueno, well, let's not wait for Vincent to come. 
Hello. Good Hello. morning. Good Hi. morning. How are you? Good, thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good morning. Mr. Carlos. Look, it's Vincent. Bobby. He's aware of his conscience. Yeah. Very sleepy. I can see some progressive changes. Uh, the breathing pattern start to change a little bit, despite oxygen on. Yeah, so it's getting close to the level of breathing, very close. But he speaks to me. He, we spoke this morning, and he made a joke, and so you know. Okay. He was. Well, that's 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 him anyway, and that's a good sign. That means he's conscious of what is going on. He knows, you know that is gradually, you know, uh, yeah. departing from us. Uh. Okay. Hi, Gabrielle. It's Carlos. Uh, well, this is the phone call. My dad passed away about an hour and ten minutes ago. And we were all with him. It was really very calm, very peaceful. I don't know if that bandana looks right. He didn't wear a bandana in the... I don't know if he always wore his little hat. We were speaking to him when he was dying, when in his last minutes, I was telling him, you know, we were talking to him, and I was telling him that to rest and to just rest. This concert, puppy, this concert. Yeah, what is this concert? His, his, his etheric forces and his soul forces are slowly Departing. Yeah. With the ice packs here. The skin is still really soft. I'm smiling. And uh, this is the best of all possible outcomes. So he really put a lot of work into this, and he's still working. And that's why, you know, we're at home, thank God. It was a beautiful death, it was beautiful, it was really beautiful. I think it was beautiful because we were next to him and we were talking to him and telling him that everything was fine and that we were with him and that we would always be with him and he just had to focus on that. And he exhaled. One last time. Thank you, Dad. The funeral home is going to be arriving in the next half hour to take him to the to the crematorium, and I uh, I'm not going to say goodbye. Ahí nos vemos, papi. Eh, ahí nos vemos después. Ya sabes, ya sabes dónde estamos, eh. Ya sabes dónde estamos, ¿eh? Y vas a estar conmigo siempre. Ya verás.
It's heavy. It's amazingly heavy. It looks like sand. I don't know. Does it look like sand? I wonder if they gave me a bag of sand. No, I'm just kidding. to me, I don't know what that is. It's just a... I know people put them in their houses and they put them in urns and stuff and they put them, you know, I don't, personally, I don't need that or... I'd be happy to throw it in a bunch of potting soil and grow some lettuce in it or something. I don't know. This is a formality to me. This is a formality, the whole thing was a formality, the, the, the death certificate tri thing, going to the crematorium was a, all a formality. And... He, you know, he went out the right way, the, 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 the good way. And there was that poem that I remember saying about, you know, wait, waiting for a ship to leave port. And, and you're saying, well, there she goes, you know, but once she's out, you know, but it, is, it, it doesn't, the boat doesn't disappear. It's just gone from your sight. Because from another perspective, people are expecting the boat, the ship. And as we say, there she goes, uh, the, uh, other voices on the other side are saying, here she comes. You know, so it's not like, you know, you, you, the boat doesn't disappear, it's just out of your sight. Let's go, Dan. 